Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nightmare here, and today we'll continue reading Innocent Heart Chapter 4. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy pasta fan fictions out there. And also, Red will be reading the, vo the part of Laughing Jack. I hope you guys give him a big round of applause because he's been helping me out in these stories, most likely. And, um... He's also going to be helping a friend out in her channel, but until then, we'll see what happens. Until then, let's get started. Alice's point of view. I sat at the table. I got my favorite dinner, which is spaghetti and meatballs, ready for the, for the two of us. I turned around to see laughing Jack in his best. Jack, I said, blushing in embarrassment. What on earth? A face palm myself drugged. Um, you said to wash up. Yeah, but I didn't meant in that way. I explain. Laughing just Jack just shrugged it off. It was just a silent it was just silence as we both ate. Laughing Jack finished before I did. Thanks for the supper. I'll go change. I snickered. You better. Jack left the room. All I could think of in my head was, am I falling for him? I finished the supper and got up and washed the dinner dishes and saved whatever was left. I walked to the living room to see Laughing Jack asleep on the floor. He was drooling in his sleep. He, was he ever that not taught not to drool in his sleep? I thought to myself. I kicked him to see if he'd wake up, but instead of waking up, Laughing Jack's bandaged arm on the floor, not even reacting, I had in mind. I thought of an, uh, another idea. I got on all fours. I blushed a little. My fingers were on the bridge of his nose, always working for me when from one of my sisters. Nope. Laughing just, just scratched his nose. If there was a bug on it, I finally did what I would have done to the last to wake up someone. I got close to Laughing Jack's face and tried to blow air to wake him up. But before I can ever get close, Laughing Jack grabbed a hold of me and sang there. Great, now I'm stuck like this until he wakes up. <sighs> Laughing Jack groaned. Alice. I blushed as he said my name in his sleep. Maybe I'm really falling for him. But yet again, maybe not. The feeling of the warmth of Laughing Jack's arms. I started to doze off to sleep. I opened my eyes to see Alice asleep. I smiled. Everything went well. Well, sort of. If I include all the fights we kept having since we first met, I held her close to my chest, letting her, her listen to my shadowy heartbeat as she slept safe, soundly, and peacefully. That moment didn't last long. I kept having a bad feeling. Someone was nearby. I kept thinking maybe it was Massey coming by to see how I was doing. Then again, I kept hearing noises. So I thought maybe it was EJ. After a while, that feeling of Gotten to the point where I knew who it was. My eyes widened in fear. He's near. He's after Alice. I remember Slenderman giving me some sort of message teleportation thing only used in emergencies. Even though I might lose control, I had to use it to let him know he is near. Even though totally I wanted to control myself, I managed not to at least scratch Alice. I held Alice close to me. I didn't want to Alice's point of view. I didn't know how long I was asleep, but next thing I knew, Laughing Jack was waking me up 
We had a worried look on his face, like something happened to him. Is something the matter? Laughing Jack, I asked. He hugged me and hel helped me up. I don't want to hurt you. He said in a sad tone. But there's someone who's trying to. I hugged him back, comforting him. You know, I don't believe you. I told him, but whoever's trying to hurt me, I can defend myself. He h held me tightly like there was no tomorrow. Finally, both I and Laughing Jack let go of each other. Laughing Jack looked above me and started and stared, started to have a worried look on his face. Alice. He cried out. Behind you. I turned around behind me. I was turned around and came face to face with Salgo, king of the end of the world. I was getting more worried by the minute. What got to me was that Alice turned back around with no reaction. There's, n there's nothing behind me. What? I said to myself, but how is that possible? She's supposed to be. I was interrupted by Zalgo. Oh, how sweet. He said with a sarcastic tone. <laughs> Zalgo laughed, mocking me. I glared at him. Don't you dare touch her, and her name is Alice. Zalgo just continued laughing, acting so. I ran towards him in teleportation. You think I'm still scared because of one little death of a loved one? Using all my strength, I tried to hit Salgo to get him away from Alice. I get an uppercut from him on my shoulder blade, even though I don't have one. I hit the floor face first. Laughing Jack. Alice cried. She ran towards me. Hang on, I'll get... Uh, help. She jolted when she touched my shoulder. <laughs> uh, so so you can't, can't fight, fight me. me. Oh, I'm Thank you very much. You're the one that's hurting Laughing Jack? Yuck! I cried. That's the most dis Disgusting thing I have ever seen. Got up. That disgusting thing is the one I was talking about. We gotta run, Alice. He's too strong for me. Alice nodded at me as we ran out the door. So, what is the enemy of the laughing jack? Such a coward! You're such a disgrace! Hey, how dare you say such mean things to laughing jack? I looked at her. Idiot. Why did you the one get angry? That's my job. She didn't answer. She had a face as if she was mesmerized or something. Alice's point of view. I started to smell something in the air. S such a s sweet smell, I thought. The smell as if a Zago appeared as a human. Alice. Laughing Jack yelled. I'll snap out of it. Laughing Jack turned to Zago. Zago smirked. Something he motioned his finger to me. I obeyed him. Laughing Jack tried to pull me away, but Zago's move was too powerful. Alice! Stop! Laughing Jack cried. He's manipulating you! I started inching closer to Zago. I'll snap out of it! Laughing Jack tries to shake me out of Zago's possession. Not good, not good, not good. Alice is possessed by Zalgo. I tried everything to wake her up. 
She gets closer to Zalgo. I was about to give up. Before I could lose hope, a black tentacle slashes Zalgo, waking up Alice from her trance. Uh, what? I turned to see who it was. Slenderman had answered my warning and got here as fast as he could. Sorry to be late. He said as if he were was a businessman. I don't get the closest to that. Then, coming from behind Slenderman, was Masky, Hoodie, and Tiki Toby. I sighed in relief. Thank God. Slendy turned to the proxy. Boys, get Alice out of here and safe from Zelda. The proxy nodded, picked up Alice, and ran out of the house while Slendy and I fight Zalgo off.